So while I was watching the YouTube video on the Zeke pot fridge, I also uh, stumbled across this uh, earth battery. And it seemed interesting to me, so I figured I'd check it out. Um, the one I saw, the guy had 18 pots on it, I believe. They looked like quite large pots, maybe 12 inch diameter. And he actually managed to get it up to uh, 12 volts. Or enough to that he had a bank of batteries and he was charging his batteries off that. So I was kind of uh, intrigued at that. So I've been experimenting and fooling around here in the backyard. It started with a uh, old pipe that I had because I didn't want to go cut up my good copper pipe for something that wasn't really going to work. And it progressed to an eight pot. So I haven't hooked this all up in sync yet, or a series, sorry. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple other things that I learned along the way. Um, first off, I'll just run down some tools. Don't worry about the temperature thing. That was for my miniature Zeke pot. So basically I got some uh, half inch pipe. I got angle iron or a corner bead for drywall. Uh, tin snips, pipe cutter, some 16 gauge wire, wire snips, and I originally started with alligator clips. And of course a voltage meter to help you out. And for one of the experiments I also have water and table salt. I'll get to that in a minute. So I originally started out sticking uh, this piece of pipe in the ground and hammering in this uh, zinc, <laughs> sorry, not zinc, galvanized steel is what you need. Let me make that clear. Galvanized steel and copper pipe. Sorry, that was my, uh, don't do this very often. So I hammered this piece of plate into the ground and put the water pipe in there. This is in here loose. You can see I didn't really go to much trouble with it. So first off, I will show you the voltage of just out of the ground power. Also what I've discovered is black goes on the galvanized steel and copper is positive. Now you can see I'm putting out 0 0.71 DC volts. So I was thinking the guy had them all hooked up in series, why can't you just put them into the ground? So I pegged in some other copper pipes and more ground and hooked them up into series. So I'm going to show you what happens when you do that. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these set up and hooked in series. The voltage has actually dropped to 0 0.05. So it has actually gone down. So what I've come to the conclusion of, and I'm sure you might agree, is that you need to be insulated or separated. Otherwise, this just shorts out. It's not adding the compound. Uh, it's not compounding it. I'm not an electrician. I don't know much about electronics. I'm just a guy tinkering around in his backyard. So I figured out that uh, you cannot do that. I thought that would be great if you could. You can just put stakes in the ground and there you go, power. But that's not true. You need pots to separate it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of little things that I found. Oh, sorry about that. Um, the size of the pot doesn't make a big difference. I'll uh, show you the small pot. Uh, you're looking at 0 0.70 DC volts. So I'll go to the next larger pot. Now you have 0 0.72. Not much difference. Now I'm going to go to the larger pot. You have 0.74. So from the small pot, from this pot to the larger pot, which isn't very large, it's only about a 6 inch or 8 inch, 10 inch potting plant pot, it's gone up 0.04 volts. So it's not really a whole lot of power for the size of the pot, but I guess if you put a whole bunch of them in, it would add up. So the next thing I wanted to show you was I originally started with alligator clips. Of course, uh, they're long and a thin gauge. So I figured, well, if I increase the gauge of the wire and make them shorter, I should get more power. So just to prove that, I'm going to hook up these two pots. The 16 gauge is not hooked up to anything. It's just an alligator clip, and I'll give you the, the uh, voltage on this one. And then I'll give you the voltage on 
the 16 gauge. So, as you can see, I gotta hook this up to the same pot. Oh yeah, no, I'm doing a series of pots, sorry. Okay, so I have two pots series with the alligator clip. 1.18 volts. So that's 1.18. Now I'm gonna get rid of the alligator clip and hook them up with the 16 gauge. So we were looking at 1.18. 1.18. 7. So, apparently it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> so there you go. I thought it would, but uh, I guess it doesn't. Surprise, surprise. So the next thing I'm going to do is hook these all up in series and see how much voltage we can get out of this whole thing. Oh yes, but before that, I heard that if you put table salt in a pot, it will increase the voltage. So I'm going to hook this one off. I'm going to put some table salt in here. I'm going to hook this up to the meter, where the whole thing's going to go awry. Make sure I'm plugged in. All right. So there we have 175. I'm try and move this over here. Oh, great job. Okay. 0.75. Let's see if I'm wrong with this one. Well, it did go down slightly. I already uh, tried this experiment once before, so the salt is in there, but 0.74, so it went down instead of up, obviously. So, if you're still with me, let's get back to this in series. This is the first time I've hooked up these eight uh, pots in series. Four little pots, four big pots. So, this is uh, going to be a surprise to me, too, to see what we got out of here for power. So, just give me a moment. And I'll put all these wire things back on here. You know, I'm sure you can figure this out or make a better design or make it a little prettier or whatever you want to do to it. I've just been farting around out here in the backyard making miniature Zeke pots and making earth, earth uh, batteries. And I should be doing other things. <laughs> but, oh well, this is fun. I like tinkering around with this stuff. So we're almost set here. Get the last one in to go. All right. So this is the first time I've hooked up these eight pots together in series. And series is, uh, as you can see, you're hooking up from the negative to the positive, or from the positive to the negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, which ends out turns these around. But let's see. over two volts but they're reversed so by the time these things went around in their series these became the proper if I were to take one of these cups out these would be reversed in the terminals so there you go over two volts let's take a look wow there you have an amazing 2.82 DC volts off of eight earth batteries piece copper pipe, some corner bead galvanized steel. I didn't, like I said before, I don't think the salt uh, made much of a difference, but 2.8 volts, I can run an LED off that. Guess it's better than nothing. So, here's everything I learned today. Have fun, go out there, experiment, and uh, see you again. So, uh, after I uh, ended that last little video, I'm going to try and edit these together, but um, I mentioned something about an LED. I didn't have one. I found this uh, solar-powered LED lamp. Uh, I just want to show you that the solar power, it's a cloudy overcast day right now. Um, this little panel 
which is well, not large, larger than the uh, AA battery, so a couple inches by a couple inches, is putting out 1.9 volts. So it's 0.9 volts less than my 8-pot earth battery. Not that, uh, you know, that's a big difference. So anyways, what I've done is, I will uh, show you this is not hooked up. This is hooked up to the voltage meter. Take that off, because we know that puts out 1.8, whatever it was, volts. Um, while I'm here, I might as well show you this, just to show you again that uh, we have the voltage out of this. So there you go, we're over 2 volts. So with my 8 pot battery there, I have 2.47 volts. So what I've done is I have these leads coming from the positive and negative off the positive and the negative, which is the galvanized. And I didn't really want to do it, but I ended up doing it because I think there's something wrong in this circuit here. So I got the positive and the negative wire going to this. It's actually got three LEDs in here. Now, I know this is real stupid, and you're going to comment on it, maybe. Um, but you can't actually see the LEDs on. So they're not uh, very brightly lit. There's three of them in there. I don't know... Uh, how much, what if they got a circuitry back there, but it's probably just hooked up. But you can actually see they are lit. Now, uh, try and keep my hand here and unplug it. Alright, see? It's out. Now I'm going to plug this back in again. And they're lit. So there's three LEDs lit off my eight small pot earth battery which is putting out 2.46 volts. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you that LED because uh, I knew somebody would say something. Now let's see the LED. So there you go. I showed the LED. And remember, the uh, solar panel puts out 1.8 volts. So you can go buy these. I think I got this at the dollar store for like three bucks or something or two bucks. So I guess it wasn't at the dollar store. Otherwise it would have been a buck. There you go. Well, I, uh, I'm about done farting around with this. I finally got about 6.2 volts out of it. It's a little dark for me to show you. Um, that's just uh, three LEDs. Uh, one of those walkway uh, rechargeable lights. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Six point something volts. I think there's an issue. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get enough power to do a radio or something. Because there's no load. Because this, even though this is putting out 6.2 volts, it won't even light a uh, standard... 3 volt flashlight battery but like I said it's getting too dark to show you that now so still uh, 2.5 volts available so I said 2.5 volts with the load if I take the light off it'll go up to 6.2 so that's it I'm done farting around with this hope you have fun uh, doing your own little experiments